you are making three you can multiply the second you are to by minus sign so therefore we did your first row is as it is third row is also as it is a inverse here first row zero one zero as it is third row zero minus two one as it is now in this step we are simply multiplying the second row by minus so hence we get zero one zero here multiply the minus so we get minus one three zero next <coughs> convert this number means r1 into 0 is r1 minus r2 so we get second row as it is third row as it is a inverse as it is here also for second row as it is third row as it is we are changing first row now by changing first row we have to follow this operation and this operation is r1 minus r2 means we are subtracting second row from first row. So one minus zero, one. Next, one minus one, zero. Two minus zero, two. Here, one zero minus of minus one, we get plus one. One minus three, minus two. Zero minus zero, zero. Now change this number. This number is present in first row, so therefore we are changing it into zero. In a such that r1 minus 2 is r3, so therefore we get we are taking first row, so therefore return second and third row as it is a inverse equal to here is also minus 1 3 0 next 0 minus 2 now do the calculation of the for first row. So for first row we are multiplying third row by 2, then we subtracting from first row. Now multiply the third by two zero zero here is two. So we get there one zero zero. So do the calculation in this side also. Multiply by two zero one minus zero one. Multiply it by nine two minus two minus two minus plus four minus two plus four two. And lastly multiply this by two two zero minus two. In this way, we get the inverse. A inverse is equal to one two minus two minus one three zero, and here zero minus two one. So this is the value of A inverse of the given matrix. Now, <coughs> if the answer is correct, now one answer here is answer is over. Just we are taking the next step. So our calculation is correct or not? To check this, we have to multiply. A into A inverse. If the multiplication after multiplication we get R, then the our calculation is correct. If we did not get R, then our calculation is somewhere wrong. This our answer is wrong. So now see, this is our inverse of the given matrix. The answer is completed. We are following this question, and the answer is completed.